Here's a demonstration of the Inflow Notification DLL. Notification DLL has two purposes. One is to notify users at runtime during a workflow process based on the transition that it has come across. Secondly, the ability to email specific users at any time by right-clicking on a document. To begin with the workflow, here I'm going to change the state. I'm going to change change the state through the finished transition. The finished transition is actually set up in the configuration file saying that's the one we're going to go ahead and uh, notify users at runtime. It can be any transition you like. Go ahead and enter a comment. The users dialog comes up. Here I only have two groups, but all of your groups will be listed in Enterprise. And I can go ahead and select a user. It gets dropped down to the users that are going to be emailed. I can go into this column as well. You can see just um, continue adding. I can also remove from the list. So in this case, I'm just going to email the admin, which is who I am logged in as at this time, and Jay Burns, whoever this person is. Go ahead and click Email Users. Okay, I've received notification. I'll go ahead and bring that up. Here's the notification. This is the inside PDM Works itself. If if you had uh, external email, it would go through there instead. The email that it send, out, sends out is completely customizable HTML. In this case, I just copied an existing HTML tag. Uh, exactly. If I went ahead and clicked on this, I would be able to open it. So I can go ahead and click the properties of that file. Bring up the properties, the data card, of course. Uh, I can open the folder for which that document is in as well. You can see it's in the link test folder. And there you can see the how users can, how uh, during a workflow process, during a specific transition, notifications can be sent to specific users during runtime. Lastly, I'll show you the right click on document. In this case, let's do more than one. I'll select this one, this one, and this one. I'll right click and do email link. Email a link to this document. This, of course, can be customizable as well. We can change this to whatever we want it to say. Go ahead and click that. Again, the same user dialog comes up. In this case, I'm just going to send it to myself. I'll just click Add. Okay, I have my notifications. I can bring them up. Here you can see the show next. I have um, three three new messages for the three documents. And here it, it was emailed to me. Same type of concept. I can go ahead and view it, open the folder, click the properties, show next, and just loop through each of the documents that was sent to me. And lastly, I want to show you the configuration. The configuration is completely customizable configurable, I should say, via this this uh, INI file. The INI file, these hash marks here, discuss what each attribute or option means. And we could go ahead and specify a sp specific HTML file. Whether or not, here's the load, the state change load message. Do we want, we can shut those off if we want to. For instance, if you just wanted to provide the state but not the email, you could set those values. The default uh, subject and body messages for the um, for the emails and the transition that you want to monitor for. So anytime it sees this transition finish is when it's going to actually do the the runtime user. Um, the add-in, this is actually what will show up as your menu item and debug, which would also provide a big debug log. Also have the HTML code here, completely customizable. It's just a text file. Here you can see it's just an HTML text file. And here it has tags. So as you create your, your HTML tag, just uh, or your HTML file, just add these tags wherever you want them to be, and you can customize it to to your heart's content. It'll just as it uses this template, it'll swap out the correct value for whatever's in this tag. That way, it, create, it allows us to create a very customizable HTML page for the end user, or customer, or for ourselves.